Hello everyone and welcome guys to this another video. Today we are gonna install and try Minecraft on the PS3 PC. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Also for those who don't know what a PS3 PC is, it's just a custom computer build inside the PS3 case. You're welcome. As you guys have seen from the previous video, I have actually built a PS3 PC inside that case and uh, what I have done now was actually to upgrade it. So today guys I'm gonna show you guys what I have upgraded to it and maybe some gameplay as well. Well uh, yeah, I guess let's get straight into the PS3 PC stuff. Well guys, for the new viewers, this is how the PS3 looks like. It's just basically a PS3 computer. Basically inside this PS3 case is an actual PC. Well, it's a mini PC, but still a PC. And as you guys can see, I added two USB extensions and some microphone and audio ports as well. Those are also extensions. And in the back, we obviously have the ports for the like power, uh, video and more things like that and guys I'm gonna show you guys what I have upgraded to it but first things first we're gonna have to remove the cover just like that and now time for the sacrification it's kind of tough to dismantle this case in in a bed on a bed actually but it's still possible and I'm still gonna do it for the content so yeah I hope you guys can see that very well I mean the video. I guess I'll be back. Actually no, I'm gonna do a time lapse with this thing getting removed, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, now it's time for the moment of truth. Yeah, that's how it looks like on the inside. So I know that this thing looks really confusing, I mean the PS3 PC on the inside, but I'm gonna explain it to you guys everything else in like a very short amount of time, I mean as quick as possible. So this is the board. Mamma mia! Motherboard of the of the PS3 PC aka a Lenovo mini PC motherboard and here we have a new CPU and the old CPU is this come on yeah this is an i3 4130T the CPU that this PC has right now is an i5 4570T which is way better than this i3 CPU and obviously as you guys have probably noticed this PC had before a hard drive and this is the hard drive of it it's a seagate with 320 gigabytes of storage and this is an ssd i mean the upgrade uh, an ssd from king max with 480 gigabytes of storage which is slightly better but it's kind of the same thing but at least it's an ssd which makes things better i guess and yeah this is the rgb strips that i added them during the making of this ps3 pc this is the usb hub which in this usb hub i plugged the two usb extensions the rgb light strips as well and here it's the usb hub plugged in and here is the audio and microphone jack extension plugged in as well and yeah that's pretty much it i guess now it's time to put the cover back on okay and now it's time to screw in everything else back in I guess okay guys everything is finally put in together I mean the cover the top cover of the PS3 PC and guys the only thing that I forgot to show you is actually the switch for powering this PS3 on this is the switch as you guys can see it's there this is the switch which turns on the system. It is right, it is at, at least it's doing its job, you know. And yeah, guys, now I'll be back with this PS3 PC set it up on my desk. 
Well guys, before I actually turn on the PS3 PC, I just want to show you guys the power break of it. It's basically like a laptop power break, it's not that special. It's from Lenovo because the, the PS3 PC is motherboard is actually a Lenovo mini PC. I think I said that already in this video, but I just said it once again in case that was necessary. So yeah, now I'll be back when I turn it on. Well guys, I'm back, I plugged everything into the PS3 PC, now it's time to turn it on. There we go, it's on, as you guys can see, and now let's see the monitor as well. And there we go, it's booting up. And for some of you guys who will say, uh, Zero, where the heck is the PS3 booting up logo? Well, I had to reset the system, so that's why that thing is not there anymore, but there we go guys. The PS3 PC is working and uh, I'm not gonna use my normal uh, keyboard and mouse. I'm actually gonna use this and this. Why? Because they are wireless. I mean, I can just use them where I want and how I want. Of course, I can't use them too far because otherwise they'll stop working, but yeah. And also for the internet, I had to plug in a USB Wi-Fi adapter thing so I can use the internet and stuff on this machine and yeah it's actually working as we can see well uh, since I don't have the boot logo thingy set it up I guess I set it up on camera and it's actually very easy to do that I guess I'm gonna start downloading the BGRT thing. I, I think I'm actually gonna do a small tutorial on how to have a custom boot logo thing, so yeah. Yeah, we are gonna need BGRT. I mean, hack BGRT. That's what I wanted to say. We are gonna go here at releases. I hope the camera is showing everything well. And there we go. I'm gonna have to put this thing in the Windows partition. Aka here, BGRT. There we go. I'm gonna paste that thing here. Oh, I also need WinRAR. Obviously, I need WinRAR for this as well, because otherwise, how are we gonna extract that, right? And now we can finally extract this thing here as well. All right, now we can remove the folder. I mean the archive, WinRAR archive. And here we have what we need. But first things first, guys, we do need an image. How are we gonna get an image for the booting logo? Well, that's very simple. There we go. Now let's go to images and pick a PS3 booting logo, I guess. Now we are gonna have to modify it a little bit. Like, we basically just want to have this. Only this part of the logo, pretty much. And obviously we want the entire thing to be filled with black. So we are gonna do that. And now it's time to save it as a BMP picture. And of course, we are gonna save it. Uh, oh wait, we do need to change the resolution as well. I'm gonna change it to 300 by 300 so everything will work. If you guys want, you can take this as a tutorial or just as entertainment stuff. You guys are not forced to do whatever I'm doing. And just know guys, before you do anything of this, you need to keep in mind that your system has to be on UEFI. If it's on legacy or anything like that, then you're screwed up. Because you're gonna screw up your system if you do this on legacy and not on UEFI. And I really hate these police cars because they go in the audio, but anyway. I hope you guys didn't hear the sirens because they are annoying. But yeah, here we have heck BGRT, here we have the splash pink, we are gonna have to replace it with that. And we are done. Now we can finally run the setup thing, we need to run it as administrator. And here we have some options, hopefully my phone is focusing the options. We have the I, which is install, J, install alternative, O is install legacy, probably if you are on legacy, but I still don't recommend that. We have the F, which it says that it's only installing files, D to disable, R to remove in case you want to remove the custom boot logo, B to boot to UEFI setup, to disable secure boot and other things. Oh. Yeah guys, you also need to disable secure boot because otherwise you are gonna screw up your system so keep that in mind as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'm gonna press I to install this thing up. And yeah, you, you are gonna have this thing opened with your logo. 
so you can just close that and now it's doing its thing and now it says that it's all done so yeah there we go after we've done all of that now it's time to restart the system update and restart <sighs> fine update this thing i guess i guess i'm gonna do a time lapse with the update oh never mind never mind it's restarting let's go the moment of truth let's go we have the ps3 logo here yeah so yeah this thing worked pretty much which is really awesome and yeah here we are i'm not sure if the system is going to add it itself again i think i'm gonna try to test out with minecraft so i guess i'm gonna uh, install minecraft on this system then i'm gonna download windows legacy launcher because this thing is way more stable than my finances And yeah, now it's time to install this thing for Aura. And there we go, it finished installing because obviously I installed this thing on, on an SSD which is like the, the fastest drive you can have pretty much. I'm also gonna run core temp because I'm very curious to see the temperature of my CPU. And it seems like I have 60 degrees on my CPU. And obviously that's happening because my PS3 is like pretty closed like like its case is covering pretty much the airflow so yeah i guess that's the reason why this is happening and of course i need to enter my details which i'm gonna be censored during this video because yeah and now i have to confirm something so i'll be right back all right guys i'm back i logged into my account i'm also gonna have to censor this part as well and there we go let's see the temperatures once again it seems like they dropped out somehow and never mind they are, they are climbing up again it's kind of unstable but yeah guys there we have minecraft on this thing so i guess i'm gonna try a low version because i i really want my cpu to not overheat too much okay let's try 1.8 i'm actually gonna try the 1.8 version without optifine this is going to be the first test without optifine and with the lowest settings possible and just know guys once again keep in mind that i'm using the integrated graphics of an i5 4570t processor so don't expect anything crazy because this is not a gaming gaming computer it's like a budget gaming computer but like a mini pc budget computer so yeah and there we have minecraft well let's make it full screen and change some settings i guess we are gonna remove clouds we are gonna remove that and pretty much everything else that we have here particles no we think maybe on maybe that's gonna do things better all right i think these are all the settings that we have for now and i guess i'm just gonna make a world for test and yeah let's hope for the best running minecraft on the ps3 pc for the first time as you guys can see there hopefully it's going to go well and uh, okay oh okay okay it's not bad let's check the frame rate though all right it's not the best but we just barely launched the game so yeah okay it's not that bad maybe if i lower the resolution mm, slightly better but yeah it's playable it's playable but obviously i'm gonna have to get optifine for the best results and one thing i'm gonna do is go to peaceful because i really hate playing minecraft on normal or easy um difficulty because monsters and stuff but yeah guys now i guess it's time to get optifine and actually check the results once again with optifine we do actually need the 1.8 version optifine let's download it of course of course ads freaking ads man there we go okay it's downloading so that's great okay let's go oh 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 we do need java we do need java for this i forgot that and there we go now it's installed so i guess we can now finally install optifine and install and there we go 
now we can run minecraft but with optifine so that's gonna make things better we want to we want the best results ever that we can have and this is the optifine version and now let's play all right let's go to video settings and as you guys can see we have way more settings than we had before and uh, i think i'm gonna have to actually reduce that maybe a five should be okay three is the fastest so all right let's go with five i mean something in the middle you know uh fast off this is going to be off shaders yeah we don't have no details oh yeah this is going to be off for sure this is going to definitely be on off or fast because as i said we want to we want the best results that we can have um okay fast off uh, animations off of oh wait all off there we go uh quality oh wait all right uh off actually yeah I, i'm i'm gonna leave it to off uh off 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 all right that's good enough performance on yeah that that's all so guys we've done pretty much everything that we could like we minimized like pretty much everything that was possible to minimize now it's time to finally play i guess i really waited for this moment so let's see how many fps are we gonna have actually this is crazy we have 50 fps on minecraft that's that's just great we can we can literally play it right now just look at that the fps are not going below 30 so that's amazing so as a conclusion can you play minecraft on the ps3 pc well if you minimize all the settings pretty much it's playable so that's a good thing but now I'm gonna have to end the video here because first things first it's I think it's pretty long but also because I don't have any games I might make a part 2 in the future I'm not sure if we are gonna get 10 likes on this video maybe I'm gonna make a part 2 but if not then I'm just gonna end it here and this was the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I just tried to play Minecraft pretty much and I've also customized the boot logo and I've showed you guys what I upgraded to this system so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this ps3 pc video uh it was more like a review of it and a test on minecraft so yeah i'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching bye bye